Hey guys, it's Dr. Baker. Again, I'm just walking through some of the steps of placing a ventriculostomy. The goal of this video is not to have random people going around performing ventriculostomy. This is simply to educate people who are interested in learning why we do what we do. There's a reason for things. So this is a mannequin. Typically, in an average adult, um, you want to go approximately 11 centimeters from this point, the ridge of the nose called nasion, all the way back, and want to go about two centimeters lateral. And then at that point, you just mark with this marking pen where that entry is, okay? And you put chloroprep, duraprep, make sure the area is clean, and then you make an, a skin incision with a knife, put this retractor in place and then you have this drill you can see that there's a safety um, me metal right there it's, it's supposed to prevent you from plunging for experienced neurosurgeons they know that the outer cortex is hard and then there is medullary bone and then there is inner cortex that's when they really slow down before they get into the brain and you drill until you get to uh, the uh, inner cortex and you slow down, you reach the inner cortex and you want to puncture the dura and then you take this catheter. This catheter uh, is not a, it's non bactocele catheter, it's not an antibiotic impregnated catheter. You basically angle it perpendicular to the skull and you go anywhere from five to seven centimeters from the skin. There are some variabilities in the size of the ventricle, uh, size uh, of the patient himself, and whether or not the patient has um, um, any uh, anomalous developmental problems. Uh, do you have to be cognizant of that? See the CAT scan and then angle it into that space and you should feel a pop and immediately spinal fluid comes out. And then you basically remove the stylet and then tunnel the catheter laterally to decrease the rate of infection and connect it to the drainage bag. I'll have a separate video about the drainage bag and troubleshooting ventriculostomy problems.